Hello, today is July 31st, and this is I Drink, You Drink, and Woo! as we did last time, we will start with a shot. You should be able to see the, the videos for everybody below, so here we go. Everybody, bottoms up. Delicious. Delicious. Tasty. I didn't start with tequila this time. I started with uh, another Jaeger. Mm, I started with, te with tequila. All right. So this is this is normally I think you think, but uh, since it is a fifth Wednesday, we will be doing I drink, you drink, and we will not be putting a new spin on debate and discussion. Basically, the normal rules not for really. I think you think. Yeah, <laughs> the normal rules for I think you think are kind of out the window, and it's pretty much whatever the hell you want to say. Um, and yeah, there you go. But uh, the topic's kind of light. We're going to be talking about bucket lists. I'm Justin. On the other side of my computer screen is James. Howdy, folks. There you go. Sequoia. Hi. Kelsey. Hi. And Ryan. Hello. All right. And we are all your hosts. We uh, This is a podcast that focuses on what we, your hosts, think, but also what you know it doesn't. Not this focus on what we are <laughs> This drink. is what we <laughs> this is about what we drink. <laughs> so um, I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but what you guys should know is that you guys can partake in both our I drink you drinks and through emails, through messaging, and things like that. Um, so feel free to email us. You can follow us on Facebook, on Twitter, on the Chicago Now blogs. Uh, the links for all of these can be found in the underbar of this video, and I don't have the links, so there you go. <laughs> You guys will have to find them there. I uh, I Think You Think and I Drink You Drink is produced by Stolen Arts Productions is recorded live at Fisher International Studios. All right, are we ready to get into this? I think ready. we are. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we already are into this, actually. We are. The drink's <laughs> yeah. almost empty, and I've already done a shot, so I'm drinking, you're drinking. Delicious. We are all drinking. Mm. I'm actually about to be on my third and a shot, so. Oh. Alcohol. I know. Oh. My, my the blue thing was not up. Back up. It's called the blue thing. The blue yes. thing. The blue thing, yes. It's a technical term. All right, Even so we're going to... Before this thing. just becomes it's a bunch of us talking, we're going to get into uh, our bucket list. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Se Sequoia was extolling us with how she actually made a list for this show. So, Way in advance. Way Am advanced. I the only one who did? Uh, <laughs> well, you're the... Have you seen the show? Have you seen well, how prepared yeah, James true. gets and how prepared I am? I am always prepared with yeah. plenty of hippie stories, okay? <laughs> so Someday she I, actually wants to hug a tree. So I'm going to pass it over to Sequoia so she can uh, go ahead and let us know about um, where she'd like to start with the bucket lists. And uh, and Ryan, is, Ryan has found the uh, Google effects. Yes. So. <laughs> He is I the thought, princess. I thought we were all gonna like write lists and just like talk about like random things. Oh, like I, I, it's too much pressure to say mine all at once. I can't do that. You can <laughs> just pick one. one. I, I have a list too. It just happens okay. to be exactly the same as yours. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. Okay. The first thing on my list is I want to travel to India. Like that is like oh. number one bucket list. Have to travel. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, before this gets out of control, why <laughs> India? Um, I don't know. It's been like a life goal for like years. Um, I just I can't look at that. Um, <laughs> I don't know because it's something completely outside of Western culture. So that is a big part of why I want to go there. Plus, they have that color festival where they like pelt each other with different colors all day. Podcat. Sorry. Yeah, Podcat <laughs> is here. Podcat is here. Join a little solid area, solidarity with Podcat. One day I'd like to meet Podcat. That's on my bucket list. <laughs> I can help you out with that one. Um, there was a uh, there was a movie, uh, an independent film that came out uh, maybe two years ago called Outsourced. I love that movie. Yeah. That is a great movie. I loved it. I watched it. I was um, very in in. I can't think of words right now. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. I liked it. Yeah, I love that movie. Um, but I've actually known people who've gone to India and they like said amazing things about it. I actually have like a map of India like over here because that's like how adamant I am that I have to go to India at some point. Ours. So. 
I have a map too, but it's of Middle Earth, so I can't go there. I also have a map of the United States up on my wall. It's much bigger than I anticipated it being. Is it real size? Yeah. <laughs> it goes with me everywhere. It's real size. <laughs> Actual size. <laughs> one to one. One inch to one inch. <laughs> It was a bargain. It only cost fourteen trillion dollars. <laughs> <laughs> well, like on that same thing, on my bucket list is to uh, go to Malaysia someday. Um, the reason behind it, Malaysia. Yes. The reason behind it is there's three different ethnic cultures that follow three different religions that live there and have lived there for a very long time that live in harmony. And, like they just, you know, they accept each other. There's no like racial or like religious wars that go on between them. It's just they coexist, and I would love to go someplace that that actually happens. That's very un-American of you. I know, I know. I can Arr. kind of understand that. Though. <laughs> uh, I can kind of understand that. I, I mean, I guess, I guess uh, kind of piggybacking off of that, um, you know, you are at least familiar. I, I Sequoia as has watched the show the show previously before she became one of the hosts. Um, may be familiar that uh, I traveled to the UK in. <laughs> <laughs> it is not your birthday. <laughs> I'm trying to talk here. Sure. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's our in-studio audience. That's our in-studio audience. Thank you, thank you. You get a car. <laughs> nice! Wait, was he pointing at me? I think he was pointing at me. Um, I would like to, my me, my wife, my whole family, uh, I don't want to go by myself, uh, would like to move to the UK uh, in the near future, um, hopefully in a few years. Uh, I don't know specifically... Oh! <laughs> I just felt like somebody was supposed to dive off of something after that. I get that feeling often. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. <laughs> All right, Kelsey, what, uh, what, what do you have on your bucket list that may be travel-related? Well, travel-related... Um, I mean, I would like to go to Italy, Venice specifically. I know it's supposed to be kind of like a dirty city, like messy, dirty, but um, they don't have roads. They have, like, rivers, water. Canals. Canals. Thank you. That's the word. And uh, I just I think that's really cool. No cars. That would be kind of neat and different to get around town. Well, you can play Assassin's Creed 2 and visit Venice <laughs> as well. <laughs> <laughs> and kill people. I don't think it's as realistic, though. You don't get the full uh, experience of it. It's a matter of perspective. I was going to say, I disagree. <laughs> if you never go, you'll never know. So it's fine. True. Probably fine. True. It's fine. Probably fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and... Moving on. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to keep this boat on a on a, on a straight course, but I can't guarantee. Good anything. luck. Out of Ryan, do you have anything bucket list travel related? I think I'd really like to uh, visit Australia, see the Great Barrier Reef. Yes. That would be cool. How it turn do you, it off? Do you uh, do you uh, scuba dive at all or? No, I never have, but I think it would be a lot of fun. I I happen to get my. Uh, uh, Back when I was in college, I took a scuba diving class for the hell of it. Just at the end of it, you can get certified, and so I did. And you're basically certified for life. Um, wow. You just, b before you uh, actually, if you haven't dove for a long period of time, you have to go get do refresher courses before you do it. Um, but uh, it's, it's pretty cool. It's one of the coolest things I've ever done was actually getting to scuba dive. And on the Great Barrier Reef would probably be a lot yeah. of fun. I'm talking a lot because I'm going to have to slow down my drinking because, <laughs> like the last time, I didn't talk much and uh -huh. I drank a lot. After the podcast, he's like, I just stood up and then I fell down. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about <laughs> Australia, is though, is you have a very high chance of getting bitten by something poisonous. Like, everything like yeah. that is like your worst poisonous nightmare lives in Australia. 
That's true. Our spiders are the size of dogs. Yeah. They eat birds there. Yeah. Like, the spiders eat birds. Scary. You know those spiders in Iraq, those camel spiders? Ugh. You guys ever heard yes. of those? Yeah. Those things are ginormous. They you are. a picture of one? Ugh. They're not actually spiders either, and they have, like, jaws that, like, do this thing, and, like, they can they can outrun you, first of all. They can run, like, ten yeah. miles an hour, So first what of all. family do they reside They're in? They're technically, like, ants, I think. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to butt in here. Ten miles an hour, you run slower than ten miles an hour? I feel like <laughs> that's really slow for running. Well... Here's the thing, like, I can run 10 miles an hour, but for how long? That's the question. <laughs> like, they probably have a better endurance than I do, to be That's completely honest. That's not necessarily true. If you started running on a regular basis, you could probably outrun them. Which just I thought... Just of a camel spider? Actually, that brings me to my I, I would just practice my thing. stopping. <laughs> That brings me to the second thing on my bucket list. The second thing on my bucket list is to run a 5K. And I actually bought one of those, like, iPod armbands so that I could, yeah. like, you know, go running and, like, have yeah. my... Because I can't run without music in. And it's been sitting there for three weeks in the box. I, like. I was actually going to say, how how many inches worth of dust has collected on it? Quite. Well, I've been putting stuff on top of it. So, actually, no <laughs> dust has accumulated on top of it yet. The more stuff she stacks on top of it, the more hidden it is. So. <laughs> but you, you have been working the Rocky a lot. Music? When you I run, have... just, just the Rocky music? I have tied up to I actually, it's like, it's a really shameful thing, but I have to listen to, like, dance music when I run because it just, like, gets me, like, excited, which is the wrong word. But, like, like that's... Up. You're exactly. Like, I have to listen to, like, really fast-paced. Like, I can listen to, like, some, like, punk rock and stuff like that, but it's usually, like, dance music, which mindless, I run to. Mindless self-indulgence. I, I have run a mindless self-indulgence many a time, actually. Sneak up and hit you like a fucking tornado. <laughs> I usually listen to bitches when I'm running, though. <laughs> like, if I'm going to listen to MSI. Bitches love me because they know that I can jog. <laughs> <laughs> I feel narrow. like three people in this group got that joke. <laughs> yes. that, is, that, that is actually very shameful. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, one of my bucket list things is to eventually run a 5K. It's a good so, bucket list item. I did the Relay yeah. for Life last year, but I would like to do a 5K eventually. It's a good, so. That's a good bucket list item. Thank you. I might have to steal that idea. Uh -oh. You can add it still. Your bucket list is not finalized, so I think you should <laughs> tack it on to the end there. Yeah, the, the end of your bucket list is only determined by when you actually die. I guess so. That's true. Have you guys seen the movie The Bucket List? Yes. I have. <gasps> I have not. <laughs> Such a Kelsey. <laughs> it's such a good movie. <laughs> no, 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 wait. You have to do the... <laughs> oh man it's a good movie I highly suggest it it was good I enjoyed it alright so um, James do you have something that's more uh, um, not travel that, really? you physical phys physically really you're going to give up c cigarettes sometime soon <laughs> um, I, I couldn't hear that last part but I that's do have another idea part of my bucket list. Mm -hmm. uh, I would go hey, to, uh, Oh my goodness. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There are priority one messages coming in on secured channels. Uh-oh. <laughs> Stop it. Sounds. Do you like my channels? Sorry. Sorry. Uh, uh, there's a trail that runs from Oregon to Maine, or I mean, uh, I'm sorry, Georgia to Maine, that I would like to, uh, I would like to hike that whole thing at some point in time. Not in one stop. I mean, I would like Sleep at night, but, <laughs> but as allowed. opposed to during the day. Right. There's actually a blind man who walked that trail like with his seeing eye dog, and it took him like a year. Wow! Well, it's a How amazing long is the trail? It's from Georgia to Maine. Maine. <laughs> I, yeah. So, okay. I, mean, I wasn't like 100 percent listening like, at first. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's like 10 or more miles. It's a, it's 10 or more miles for sure. <laughs> For sure. It would take multiple days. At the least. Yeah. 
I'm at just least gonna 10 miles or cap more. out for a second. <laughs> <laughs> but but I think you'd have to time that. Like if you're gonna do it all at once in one month, I mean, number one, you I'd have to have saved up enough money to afford to do it while not working for that amount of time. Yeah. Um, but also and you have to have, have enough to rations. Right. <laughs> yes. And a good party built together, you know, a wizard, a rogue. I was gonna say. Uh, yeah. I was gonna. I was gonna go there. I was gonna say rations are only a couple of silver, so. On Justin's bucket bad. list is to get to the joke before I do. Damn it! <laughs> you have to make sure you have your tank and your DPS. Your three, at least three DPS. Three oh, yeah. DPS if you're gonna be safe. Tank a healer. Right now, I'm just trying to get into the right guild so I can get the resources I need. You know what I mean? There you go. I know of a good one. If you need but, like an, a recommendation. I'm, not, I'm never playing Wasp. <laughs> that's on my bucket list to never go back to World of Warcraft. <laughs> that's an ongoing process, you know what I mean? It is. It's, it's, it's like any addiction. Sort of support group. There, there are none because starting to talk about it makes you want to play it again, which is why I've banned all talk of World of Warcraft. So moving on. So, so but anyways, if you're gonna do it all in a row, you'd really have to start at the right time of year, like start in Maine in the summer or start in Georgia at the right time, so you're getting up to Maine in the summer, but. Uh, I'd re I think it'd be really neat to do, you know, probably six months, nine months, depending on how quickly I wanted to move. Uh-oh. Justin is uh. emptying some sort of vessel. I'm, em I'm emptying the rum. I was emptying the rum into what Not was left rum. of my Taco Bell drink. Why is all the rum gone? <laughs> Why is the rum gone? <laughs> and that's exactly how he sounds. <laughs> it's a perfect imitation, Justin. Oh, that tastes very rummy. <laughs> I just want to say that when I was buying this at the store earlier, the guy got distracted by how pretty the bottle is. Don't lie. He was <laughs> distracted by how pretty the... Never mind. <coughs> 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 yes, thank you. I was waiting for you to finish that, and then you are like, nope. <laughs> I was just like, oh, huge letdown. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Justin, do you have any physical activities that are on your bucket list? Um, I think one of the biggest physical activities that's on my bucket list, I can probably check off. Um, I weigh less now than I did when I was in high school, and I'm very proud of that. That's awesome. Yes. Good for you. What are you yeah. down to? I am, when I weighed in this morning, I was 193. Uh, in January, when I first started, I was at 250. Wow. Wow. Good so, for you. Awesome. That's awesome. So yes, uh, I'm almost to my goal. My goal is 184. What the hell was that? <laughs> my bad. Oops. Sorry, man. I had beans earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I love the canned laughter. That's great. We need to we need to utilize that more in the show, <laughs> especially on our more serious oh topics. Yes, like. Uh, <laughs> Man, I'd hate to wear a hoodie in the Florida. You said you wouldn't bring this up. You promised. <laughs> <laughs> this is not being talked Moving about. Uh, Brian, no. do you have any physical activities on your bucket list? Um, I'd probably like to climb a mountain or something. Do something yeah. like that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Mountains are big that, and really yeah. awesome to climb. Not, not too big of one. Not like Everest or Fuji or anything like that, but something. Something more generally attainable by an average person. Yeah, exactly. That's nice. a good. That's a good bucket list. Uh, and uh, including the travel, I'd like to maybe go see Antarctica one time. I think that would be pretty cool. It's that would really be a high activity. Standards. Sean was um, for school. He was looking to go down there, and it's like really rigorous um, testing to go down there. Yeah. Like they don't just let anybody go down to Antarctica. Like physical I know. and mental. Oh, I was going to say, is it just physical or is it mental? Yeah, you, yeah both. And I but, know one of the uh, hardest parts is the journey there. It's really dangerous getting there from, you have to leave from South Africa, and it's a really dangerous trip, I know that. Well, evidently, if you want to go to the North Pole right now, all you need is a boat because all the ice is, you know, melted. melted. No, it is melted right now. It's just the lake up there. That's crazy. Oh, but don't worry, because it's, you know, 
it's been going. It's been like that since 2003 or 2004. So I'm sure there's n- n- the time to be aggravated about it was back then. Well, I'm not aggravated. It's just crazy to think about. No, I'm aggravated about it. <laughs> oh, so to be started. Gosh. <laughs> Wait, is it gonna up the price of my Starbucks? Because if not, I don't care. <laughs> I don't know that your Starbucks will be available for too much longer if that trend continues. Unless you're going to go to the Starbucks in a boat. Okay, that's how I got to get there. That's cool. <laughs> as long as there's one somewhere. Paddling through the drive-thru. Yeah, that's how they do it. That's how they do it in Venice. <laughs> <It's true. laughs> you see how you see how we work that all around? That's exactly. called Exactly. Tying it back in. <laughs> yep. Amazing. All right, Kelsey, did you have anything physically related? Because I think you may have been skipped over, or that's, I was not paying attention. No, that's, I mean, that's She fine. got skipped over. I okay, feel I'm like a lot of good, like, physical activity bucket list items were covered. I wasn't really prepared like Sequoia was. But, um... Was her. She's a show-off. <laughs> Brown knows her. <laughs> no, I think, Sequoia like, is. Yeah. Well, Bring you know, it. It, ha- it happens. Um, I think like hiking or backpacking through Europe would be cool. I'm all about Europe today. It's fine. Um, but, I'll go with you. Let's right? Just do that would be like so Nashville. cool. Let's just go. I mean, I'm down. <laughs> I'm so down. Um, or backpacking, you know, through, you know, just somewhere. I guess like James was saying, like that trail that you were talking about. I think that would be cool. I wish I could remember the name of it, but it's a famous trail. You Google <laughs> Trail I was Georgia say, Maine. We could Google this. You guys have internet? What? Oh my God! What is that? No, I'm special. What is internet? internet? Don't understand. Don't understand. Crazy. These kids oh, nowadays. No. The Appalachian Trail. That there sounds you right. You can. Could... <laughs> okay. Yeah. Especially <laughs> as the Appalachian Mountains are right in that area. I didn't say it wasn't obvious. I just said I didn't remember. <laughs> All right. Quick Huge question. Quick, quick question. Which uh, mountain range is older, the Appalachian or the Rockies? <laughs> The Rockies. Uh, I think, I, I would think the Appalachian, I, actually. The way I was raised, it is rude to talk about a mountain range's age. We need to can laughter there, please. <laughs> oh, I'm behind. Sorry, Ryan. <laughs> Try to give you a big... Uh, there we go. Oh, that was in the laughter, but that's okay. I, we'll go I on. was imagining that's happening every time I, I, I say a joke anyways. <laughs> so... <laughs> so, but for real, do we have the answer? I'm like the really answer curious. is the answer is. Uh, I need the drum roll, please, Ryan. Oops, no, that's the rim it. shot. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, the Appalachian. Uh, <laughs> the, it is the Appalachian, and Appalachian. you know this because they are more rounded and lower. Erosion has had more time to work on them. Oh, I wish uh, that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry. Did <laughs> I? Oh man, I need to so, talk more because I'm drinking too much. Another thing on my bucket list, I would love to see Beth, Beth Hart live, and that doesn't seem like much, but Beth Hart never plays America anymore. I'd actually have to go to Europe to see her play live, and huh. I would love to do that. So. Sounds like we need to take this show on the road. Let's do it. (laughs) Ryan, are you in? All right, let's do it. Let's go. Okay. (laughs) I got Wi-Fi, so I think this thing can go anywhere. (laughs) (laughs) I was actually like, because I have a famous person on my list, and I was really torn. It's not really super famous, but I was really torn between putting Kevin Rose or John Green on my list. Like, I feel like I had to pick one. But I feel like Kevin Rose wouldn't be as appreciative. Like I feel, I feel like John Green would be like, "Oh, I'm so excited that you're a fan," whereas Kevin Rose would be like, kind of snoot, snotty about it. So I decided on John Green. John Green would probably be the ultimate person for me to meet. Love to explain to the 97 percent of people that are listening what that is. John, well, John Green wrote a book that most of you have probably heard of called *The Fault in Our Stars*, but. As I know him and why I'm a huge fan, besides the Fault in Our Stars, is he does a uh, blog called Vlog Brothers, and I actually have a signed poster up there somewhere, which I can't even find right now. It's up there. 
It's signed by John Green and his brother Hank Green. So I'm a huge fan. I didn't want to put somebody like, you know, somebody from Supernatural on my list because I feel like that's really fangirly and awkward. So I went with John Green. Well, the one had, like, the only reason you did do it is because of that. Well, I feel like John Green, I'd be like, oh, let's have a conversation, whereas Jensen Ackles, I would just be like, I can't talk. I... I you're Hi. Pretty. You're pretty. <laughs> I like your face. I like will, you, your face. will you sign some body part of mine? That sounds like my first date. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, Podcast back. <laughs> <laughs> that even sounded better with the rim shot of Podcast back. <laughs> okay, Kelsey, you're a famous person. I, d I don't have a famous person. I'm so Nobody. unprepared for this. Um, just make Jesus. it up. Jesus. <laughs> I would love to meet Julianne Moore, but it's completely inappropriate in the context. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Jennifer Lawrence and I would be really good friends. I think so, too. I feel like she's, like, the coolest person ever. One of them, at least. <clears throat> I, I corrected myself, James. Let's calm down. <laughs> that makes me need to have a shot and refill my drink all at the same time. I had to refill so, my drink, too, except my computer. Have podcast, we'll travel. So. Uh, but, yeah, I feel like Jennifer Lawrence is, like, super awesome, and that she would be really cool to hang out with one day. What about you, Ryan? Anybody famous on your bucket list? Um, I'd probably like to meet Samuel L. Jackson and just have him say motherfucker all day for me. <laughs> I'm sure he never gets that. I'd be like, let me see your wallet. Let me see your wallet. Does it actually say that? Yeah. It's the one that says badass motherfucker. My girlfriend's a vegetarian, which basically makes me a vegetarian. <laughs> this Justin. could go on for hours. Oh, sorry. What? <laughs> Famous people on your bucket list. Uh, anybody, or does they have to be alive still? Anyone. Anyone. Oh, well, okay. Well, it's a bucket list, so it has to be kind of realistic, but you know, it's that's interesting true. for someone that's already passed that you would, would have liked to have met. No, you just spoiled um, it. I would have, uh, just, somebody who has already met, list. somebody who's already died, um, I, uh, I would love to have met Carl Sagan. I'm actually sad that I didn't realize how awesome he was until after right? he had died. He is one of the coolest people. I know, I know. And he, 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 I said one. No, I'm one sorry. Of them. I, no, I'm not backing down on this one, James. He is definitely <laughs> cooler than you, oh, by all yes. means. Okay. Hey, I got like 70 more years till I'm as old as he was. Honestly, I don't know if there's... I, 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 you know, I don't think that there's anybody real specific that I'd really have to meet. I mean, I wouldn't mind meeting... Um, <laughs> Are we that doing one, another shot? That one person uh, whose name I can't think of right now. Okay. Yeah, I can't think of his name right now, so Give it doesn't really matter. He was Captain Jack on Doctor Who. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, oh, what's his name? Yeah, I know. I can't think of it either. My wife would know because she Harkness? Has... Or is that the character? Hark Jack, Jack Harkness is the character. Okay, then I'm lame. Uh, Sorry. I was going to say Jack Cooper, but that's not it either. I can't. I can't. God damn name. it, man! If only we were close to the internet right now. <laughs> well, I have a shot in my hand right now because I'm waiting for somebody to sit back down. Okay. I've had so, so much. Oh, Sam. Okay. I've so had so much to drink. I don't even know which way is up. Um, if I could rewind that for way. one quick second back to Carl Sagan, who is so awesome. I actually have a shirt that's got like a drawing of the galaxy on it and the quote. Um, if you wish to make an apple pie from scratch, you must first invent the universe. And he said that, and I have yes, a shirt that says that. He said awesome. that. He said that in his Cosmos series, yeah. which, by the way, in 2014 is being redone by my second person, who I would love to meet. Uh, damn it! I can't think of his name. <laughs> God damn it! I can't. He he, he made what? Pluto not a planet anymore. <laughs> oh. He decided oh, it was just a big rock. Because Neil the whole day was off. You Neil know why? Tyson? Yes, yes, thank you. Thank you for saving my drunk, addled brain. 
Man, we're only halfway in, Justin. You're going to fall out before this podcast is over. Dude, I've had like five shots of the Jaeger and like a shot of tequila, and I put the rest of the rum in my drink. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Everything's I, getting hazy. I need to Uh-oh. butt in for a second. John Barrowman. John Barrowman, thank you. Yes. <laughs> Somebody use the internet. I would let him. One of my special powers. I would let him kiss me. <laughs> he probably would. On the lips. <laughs> Especially after I've lost 50 some pounds, he would probably kiss me. <laughs> and it would so, make you feel sexy. <laughs> yes. I kind of need to add somebody to my list of people I'd want to meet for my bucket list, and I am totally okay with people making fun of me for it because I know it's really bad, and I don't even like her movies. But Kristen Stewart. I knew I you were going to say that. Can we boot her out of the podcast, <laughs> Justin? I knew it. Don't move me. Because don't move her, me. Her interviews, when she talks in an interview, she's actually pretty cool. <laughs> <gasps> you got muted, Sequoia. That was what? rude, James. I, I, that was really rude. It was me. No, here's the she thing. She wants to mute herself. Because... How could she unmute herself? Her? No, in her interviews, she is actually right. really funny. Like, she doesn't even give a shit. She knows that she, like... Have you seen the video on... of her with the, um, the sloth? Is no. that her? Is that Kristen Stewart? I think that actor has a name. Is that Kristen Stewart that has the, <laughs> the episode with the sloth? No, no, no. Where her, second. Boyfriend, her boyfriend on her birthday... <laughs> Gives her a uh, a slot like he doesn't give her a slot. Nope, he... nope, that's not Kristen Stewart. I know exactly what you're talking about, and it's not <laughs> Kristen Stewart. I don't know who the actress is, but it is. But an she's actress. she's awesome too. Um. God damn it! I don't like. Are you admitting that Kristen drunk. Stewart is awesome? Who she's, me? She's kind yeah. of cool. I'm like this close to being gay. Why, Kristen, why Bell. <laughs> Kristen, Kristen Bell. Kristen Bell. Kristen yeah. Bell's awesome, and I'll put her on my list. Kristen Bell, <laughs> yes. List. <laughs> yes. Veronica Mars, I'm coming. God, I need more drink. Yeah, I'm out of drink. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> Except that my drink is in the kitchen. You should, yeah, you should go. You should go, go get it. Like go now. get more drink, Kelsey. We'll, okay. we'll hold down the fort here. Well, you'll hold down the fort. Okay, I'll be back then. Tell I'll your mom I said hi. Oh, I will. <laughs> I... S- ah. So, one of the so, things, one of the things on my bucket list, um, I think that we've gone through everybody on the last thing, right? Yeah. Okay. I think we've lost direction, so we can just we can just keep everyone. going. One of the things on my bucket list uh, is as, as soon as I push some buttons here. Hang on. Time out. All right. Time in. Uh-oh. Yeah. All right. One of the things on my bucket list is to buy jewelry. From straw packs. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. You know what I mean? Hi, my mom. Hi, guys. Hi, Hi bucket listers. Just Hello. got a shower. I know I'm looking real pretty right now, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> just, I'm just going to warn you. You're only supposed to be on this podcast if you're drunk. <laughs> I can't have a couple glasses of wine. Does that count? You you fully yeah. qualify that. Good enough. Okay. <laughs> Replenishing. Okay. Yes. He'll be right there. All right. So anyway, Strava Max. Jewelry. Jewel, buy jewelry from them. Because they, they made stuff for us. And they're awesome. The, the girl, the lady, the woman. <laughs> The woman who did good things for us. <laughs> oh, Justin. Uh, You're drunk. <laughs> it's okay. I can see most of everything that I'm in front of. I'm not drunk. You're blurry. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> so, there you go. And such like... No, for serious though. Now I'm yellow. Um, Again. Yeah, that's what happens because my webcam is crappy. Uh, my one of the things on my bucket list is, and this is kind of weird, but it's because I'm a transhumanist. Um, I don't. I, I don't want. I was about to be a big confession there. No. Because I'm a no. trans. Transgender. <laughs> yes. No. Um, it. I don't actually want to die. And I I know that that's like nobody really wants to die, but like I'm in favor of the there are scientists who are 
trying to unlock DNA in order to understand what actually causes the aging, aging process and to prevent that or to lengthen it or to slow it down, or there are people who are trying to unlock how the mind stores memories and, uh, and consciousness and everything in order to, the idea is to eventually kind of become a world that's sort of like a ghost in the shell in which where you can download your consciousness into Android bodies or something like that. There's a movie um, like that. Isn't yeah, there? The, very possibly. I mean, Johnny Mnemonic has the idea of the like hard drives in your brain and things like that. Um, but uh, as a transhumanist, I'd like to. I would like my consciousness to continue for as long as possible. Um, I don't. Uh, I would like to not ever die. But I, I, you know, it doesn't hurt. Like it doesn't make me sad that I'm going to. It just, you know, kind of disappoints me that there are lots of things I won't get to experience after I'm dead. But once I'm dead, I won't give a crap because I didn't give a crap for the 14 and a half or the 14 billion years before I existed. Um, Do you hear about yeah. that jellyfish that's basically immortal? It can reset itself to. Uh, yes. And they're yeah. studying that to try to find the secret of how that yeah. works. God, I've had too much to drink. What? <laughs> You're completely coherent, Justin. Uh, so, back to bucket list. One thing I have on my bucket list, I would love to go to an NBA All-Star game, but even more so beyond that, and this would be much more expensive, although the NBA All-Star game week would be very expensive anyways, I would love to follow the Bulls for an entire season and see every game, preseason, 82 regular season, and all the playoffs. I think that would be fantastic. Would that be home and away? Home and away, the whole thing. That'd be awesome. I'm not a huge basketball fan, so that does not sound appealing to me at all. But go for it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> do I would it. do that for the Blackhawks. That'd be Blackhawks for sure. I would do that for Blackhawks. I would like to just go see a Blackhawks team. Blackhawks team. Like, that's not a bucket list thing, but I would just like to see. I know I've totally messed up saying Blackhawks. No, I would just like to see them eventually because being a transplant to Chicago, I think it would be cool to, like, go to a game. Because I've never been to – I haven't been to a sports game since I was, like, five and I fell down the stairs at a Phillies game. A sports game? You haven't been to a sports game? Like, in, Anything like, at all since I was really young. because I, years. I no. rolled down the stairs at a stadium when I was, like, five years story. old. Is that I, on film somewhere? Been, I went. To, I think I went to an Indians game when I was young, and I remember being extremely bored. But I grew up in Ohio, so I mean that's why I went to an Indians game. I didn't like drive. From you were Ohio probably bored a lot Indians in Ohio. <laughs> uh -huh. Yep. I was never a big sports person. I don't. Even, I'm not even a big sports like video game person. Oh my god! I've drunk too much. <laughs> <laughs> I've drunk so much. I'm drunk. Okay, um, what else we got on bucket list here, people? I've got one. I okay. would like to do something epically big for my goddaughter at one point before I die. You mean the thing that I Yes. The okay. thing that I picked, like, foremost would be to, like, still steal her, like, a carousel horse. Because she... <laughs> 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 like, I want to do something to just, like, prove to her when she's older that I can be like, dude, I freaking stole you that carousel horse when you were, like, five. So I don't even want to hear your sass right now. Like, <laughs> but I want to do something big for her, because I love her. Yeah, and she's I, the greatest. You know, and I hate kids. I really am not a kid person. I don't want kids. But I love her so much. And I want to do something, like, really big for her, so she knows I'll always be her needy. So far, so far since we've been fa Facebook friends, fifty percent of all of your posts have been regarding your niece or whatever she is. God it's daughter. true, you God know, daughter. like, and Thank it's you. so funny because usually, like, when I'm around kids, I'm like, nah, I don't really care, and I don't enjoy children, and I really, really don't want kids of my own. But she is just like the like this little. I love her. I love her so much. And everybody else loves her, too, so I know it's, like, not just me. <laughs> me. You love her. I love Abby. She is adorable. She had pigtails in today, and I was dying. <laughs> oh, wait. Somebody somebody join us? It looks yes. like it. Holly, Yes! <laughs> Woohoo!
It's um, I think that might be Ross, but signed in under his wife. It's possible. It's possible. Ross is one of my best friends who has joined, or at least joined into the chat room. Yep. He said, yeah, give me a sec. He's lost in purgatory like I was. <sighs> someone, someone else may need to talk because I can't see anything outside of, like, this amount of area. I have drank so much. How many fingers am I holding up, Justin? You're not holding up any fingers, you big liar face. Yeah, he is. He has two of them up. What? You can't see them? <laughs> <laughs> you guys must be brothers to do that kind of thing. <laughs> It's okay, I'm kind of thinking about ordering pizza while we're doing the podcast, to be completely honest. Do it. Dude, I am so <laughs> jealous of you. I'm so hungry right now. I feel like Jenna Marbles, like, white girl's drunk. Like, I don't even care. <laughs> On four pizzas. I don't, think, I don't think I've actually ever been this drunk, because normally... Like, my brain feels like it's covered in cotton, and right now my whole body feels that way. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Man, you really focus on the I drink part of this I drink you think, I drink you drink podcast. Hey, somebody's got to gotta do the I drink while the everybody else doesn't so do the you drink. Of you. you can come over if you're not too drunk. I only have one glass of wine, yo. Then you should come over and eat pizza with everybody. You should come over and eat pizza with me because I'm ordering it right now. I don't for Justin should. because he yeah. can drive. I, there is one no, location, Justin should. Justin's house I could not drive. Going. No, I wouldn't even sit behind. You could, but you definitely shouldn't, and you could but not I do think... well. Oh, there's this. There's the one thing I wanted to share with everybody. I went to Goodwill because this is where I shop for clothes because I'm cheap. Um, anyway, you, find good stuff there. Or, 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 you do, you do very, very inexpensive, good clothing. I bought some Italian shirts once. Um, I knew they were Italian because they said they were, um, that still had the tags on them. And I got a refractory telescope, not like the straight telescopes that just have lenses in them. It's the kind where the light comes in, bounces off a mirror and, uh, mm -hmm. and bounces off a second mirror into the lens. I I got it for twenty bucks. I checked online. Uh, Overstock.com has it refurbished for ninety. So I got a pretty good damn deal. That's awesome. Yes. Is that marked off your bucket list then? Get a really. Good I was deal just off gonna ask that. <laughs> you know what? No. Well, sort of. I mean, I've wanted to buy a nice introductory level telescope, but the one that I've wanted is like four or five hundred dollars. It has it electronic sound... controls. That does not sound like introductory level at four hundred dollars. Well, mm, yeah, for telescopes, if you want one with electronic controls where you can just type in the um, coordinates and it will just move the telescope to where you want to look, then that's introductory. Like two or three thousand dollars are the like average kind. I'm gonna sure drink another shot. Are you sure that's a good idea? Oh, well. So it's done. <laughs> <laughs> I've I've poured myself a drink of non nothing in here but pop. So also on my bucket list is to I would love to one day be able to say I shot a man in Brooklyn just to watch him die. <laughs> but you just said it. That's already been crossed sure. off mine. Oh. Damn it, Sequoia! <laughs> you were not supposed to mention that. Well, <laughs> that's what we're talking about. <laughs> Oh, that's um, hilarious, that joke you just said about shooting the guy. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. Ha, ha. I actually got approached to be a hit woman the other day, and I was like, I could use another homicide on my record, and I think he actually got really scared, like he thought I was serious. It's kind of awesome. Should have been like, I'm never going back to prison for a bitch like you. <laughs> <laughs> and then just look him in the eye till he looks away or pees himself. Usually happens simultaneously. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to have my hippie moment for the Yay, Are hippie we ready? time. Wait, it's, it's starting now? I thought... Okay. It is. It is. One of my, like, bucket list items is to live on Hug a farm a for a little Hug while. A no, to live on a farm. To live on an organic, like, completely sustainable farm that uses rotation method. 
My cousin worked at one, <coughs> on one of those farms. Really? Yep. I am so jealous right now. <coughs> she, yes. Uh, okay, in chat, somebody said those farms smell like poop. They do smell like poop, but that's okay. I can deal with it. I live with a toddler. It's okay. So I'm used to things poop. smelling like poop. <laughs> it's not animal poop. It's hippie poop. <laughs> so, Which smells like an extra roses. Bad smell. <laughs> it smells like roses. I wouldn't mind like spending a month or two living like in an Amish community. I think that'd be really neat, um, just to kind of know what that's like. Okay, when I went on that Alaskan cruise, though, there were a lot of Amish people on that cruise. You said that. That's the only story there were... you have from that cruise. As far as I know, all you do is see Amish people. <laughs> there were five hundred and fifty like, Amish and Mennonites. I did see whales. But more so, I saw 550 Amish and Mennonites. Aren't the Amish and Mennonites like the uh, Jeff and the Sharks from West Side Story? A little bit. but And okay. we talked to them about that, actually, because we asked them about that. And they were like, basically, but it's sort of like we're better than you, was basically like the gist of what they were saying. Like, we don't really like each other, but we like each other better than we like you. Like... Oh, were, I see. Yeah. Like, okay. you know, the enemy of my enemy is my friend sort of thing. Um, I always travel with the Amish. I have nothing against the Amish. You know, rock on, do whatever you want to do. But I always end up, like, sitting next to them on planes or on cruise ships or on, like, long... I, I've been... I've sat next to the Amish, like, four times on planes. Which is weird huh. if you think about it. They Amish fly on, on a lot of planes. Yeah. I remember one time when we took a train back from Ohio... When we went to visit our family, my family, a long time ago, not like, not like decades or anything, but anyway, uh, the train there was a derailment, and so we had to take a bus instead of a train, and there were Amish on there. <laughs> Justin, you are so drunk. That was a really you turned a sentence into. <laughs> A couple really steps away from annihilated. I remember <laughs> I was on a plane and they were eating like Hershey bars and drinking Cokes and I was like, I feel like there's something wrong with it, but I can't put my finger on it. Like, is this from Springer for you? Like, that's fine. Do what you want to do. Nobody's here to observe you. I'm not going to tell on you. But they were drinking Coke and eating Hershey bars. You know how difficult kinda... it would be to tell on them, though? You'd have to go back to their community. I was going to say, I kind of feel like the whole, like, I'm not going to tell on you is kind of like a come on to them. Like, <laughs> hey, I'm not going to tell on you, but, you know, if you're going to eat ice, if, you know, you're going to eat chocolate and stuff, you know, hey. By the way, whatever I've happens never been on with Rum Springa Mennonite before. stays on Rum Springa, <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> what? <laughs> Crazy talk. I don't think I I'm going to actually be able to stand up after this. I have stopped drinking at this point. Like, I'm done. Yeah, you, you've been getting all slurry and stuff, so... It's when I drink, you drink. That's what you're supposed to do. And I'm staying here in my apartment tonight, so it's okay. I, like, had to trade to get tonight off, so... And, and Justin isn't stopping, and he is way more hammered than the rest of us right now. Yeah, I, I'm only slurry because my, my tongue won't move as fast as my brain. That's a true story. I am actually going to go grab water, so I will be right back. Somehow Ross has signed I know, signed I'm lame. Twice. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My tongue is slow on the sides. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Justin. Any minute now, it's just going to be... Stop. <laughs> so I would also like to see the Grand Canyon. That'd be neat. That would be great. I agree. I think the Grand Canyon would be awesome. God damn it. The pyramids. Actually, the pyramids. all of the go major to Walmart. pyramids the in the world. I'm done talking. I would like to go to Egypt in general, even though they're in a lot of trouble right now. Maybe yeah. right now is not the best time, but you know what I'm saying. Egypt would be a very, very cool. Like Cairo. Cairo, Egypt. That would be awesome. The Great Wall of China would be awesome to see. Yeah. yeah. For sure. I feel Hell like yeah. Niagara Falls is like one of the wonders of the world, but my mom went there and she's like, it's literally just a big waterfall. Well, yeah. <laughs> Don't waste your time. But you can buy t-shirts. 
I proposed to my wife at Niagara Falls. Did you? Mm -hmm. That's cool though because it's a significant like experience for you. You're just we going were, to see them. It's just we were taking we were going to visit my family in New York, and so we drove through Canada mm. and stopped at Niagara Falls for lunch. And it it was evening, and it was uh, the lights were on Niagara Falls, and there was a park bench underneath a park bench light, and she uh, was sitting there, and I proposed to her. That's really sweet. Thank you. I'm so drunk. <laughs> yes, you are. Do you guys then go over the falls in a barrel? No, we didn't opt for that plan. <laughs> <laughs> Thank so you. Sequoia, I have a question for you. What? Did you really order pizza? I have not yet because, like, I kind of want to know if anybody's going to share it with me. I really might come over and have pizza. I feel like you and James should come over and eat pizza with me. I, I don't think I should be driving. I might be holding up better than Justin, but I'm definitely not. <laughs> Everything is numb on my body from my head down. It's <laughs> like, Kelsey, if you seriously want to come over and eat pizza, like, I will order pizza right now. <laughs> well, I guess it's, it all depends on... Because I need time to get to your apartment so the pizza doesn't go cold. Which is fine, because, like, <laughs> no, it's going to take a while. It takes, it's fine. It takes fine. an hour to get here because I'm going to order pizza for it. Like, it's Justin not like Domino's. Like, <laughs> Justin is in his own little world of this right now. Wait, what, he is where, not with us in full. Okay, let's talk in chat so we don't take away from the podcast. <laughs> we want our pizza. Because I think you should come over and drink it or eat pizza. Drink pizza? <laughs> yeah. That'd be weird. I hope you have a really good blender if you're going to drink pizza. All right, this is really sad. I don't even remember typing. Shut up to Ross. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that was wait, a full I have eight minutes ago, which is like forty three minutes of drunken time. So I have a really good bucket list that I'm oh, currently we'll be the working judge on that. very difficult. It's to get my driver's license. <laughs> there was I was gonna ask that. who that was, but then I realized that was a dumb question. I really need my driver's license, so that is on my bucket list. That's a good thing to have on your bucket list. That's I am true. working very hard on it, so one of the number one things on my bucket list is driver's license. I wouldn't take the test tonight. <laughs> you know, I was planning on it, but then I thought, because I thought I might be more relaxed, but it <laughs> may not be the best decision. Hey, where do you want me to turn? <laughs> Parallel what? Parallel what? You know, in my when I got my license, I did not have to parallel park, even though I was a champ at it. I like. Yeah, yeah, I remember when I did my driver's license, I did oh, very poorly on the driving part, but I passed. I got a 75, and if you got a 74, you failed. And um, I parallel parked, or the did the whatever, and I had a hundred percent. I like just got comfortable driving past other cars. So. You know, I drive past other cars all the time because I <laughs> not really. But I like to drive expediently. Figure if you aren't pricing people, you're losing, and I don't like to lose. I don't like to lose. She well, likes I'm margarita gonna... on her pizza. <laughs> Like, I, like, am hoping to buy a car within the next, like, month or two, so I'm figuring that if I'm hoping to buy a car in the next month or two, I should probably have a driver's license before I buy the car. You don't have a so, driver's license That would be way more right useful. Like, I, I do like not have a driver's license. Driver's license. I am um, taking driving lessons. Uh, I, I actually got a car before I got my get, driver's license. How do you get to work? I walk at this point. She wants to live on a hippie farm, you're asking her? <laughs> <laughs> well, my work is, like, 
literally like a 10 minute walk from my apartment right now, which is not that bad. She knows how to handle horses, though. So Did I just get a <laughs> boo from where I'm ordering pizza? Should I order from somewhere else? <laughs> What's wrong with pizza? Domino's actually tastes a little better oh, than pizza. Domino's is food. delicious. Oh, true. Yes. I, I do you all. No, Domino's I, Okay, Domino's I can order it online. Can crap pizza again. I can I'm order online Domino's. with Pizza Hut. You can order online oh. with Domino's too. But if, okay, it's either Domino's. Pizza Hut or Luminati's. It's one of the two. Let's do Lou's then. Okay. See, I'm see starting to lose is. track of time. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's still it's moving forward at the normal rate, Justin. We're good. Okay, good, thanks. Wait, just let him knock over some bottles. He did a pretty good drum roll with those earlier. It's true. I, it was just, <laughs> god damn it, it was just a cup, and I just cleaned <laughs> it up, so we're good. Oh, not having my glasses on does not help right now. Justin, would you would you me a huge favor? Would you try to stand up before? I the am time? not <laughs> trying to stand up right now. I Come already on, know. do I it. Know. Do it. Do it. For the people. Just stand up right, and turn around right, three times. All right, here we go. We ready? <laughs> yeah. Ready? All right, yeah. here we go. I'm good. Oh, my God. <laughs> turn around three times. Three times. Turn around. Turn around three times. Uh, I thought he was going to notice to pay up his Two. Three. <laughs> yes. You did it. I Woo-hoo. had headphones out. I was hoping you were going to notice up. the headphones, Justin. I'm so mean person. Now, my brain, my brain is still working as well as it can, but my body is like, "Fuck this." <laughs> you know, the last time you were thirty pounds heavier. <laughs> On my oh, body man. list is to see Justin is drunk more often. Yes, <laughs> I am adding that to mine. <laughs> I think the next time we do an I drink, you drink, we should all be in the same location. Yeah, I true. think so too. Preach. 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 We just set Preach. up a couple like um, webcams around us in general, so there's a couple different perspectives. And we can drink together. It, I think it's like October it's late October is the next I drink you drink schedule. I actually, I actually considered because I'm off tomorrow, I actually considered driving out to your house, James, to oh, you do should this let me know, dude. I'm off tomorrow too. We could have totally done that. Oh man! Oh well. Oh well. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter now. Yeah, yeah, because you cannot drive out here, sir. I am not driving. Not I'm, allowed. What I'm probably going to try to do is I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to try to play XCOM and get my ass handed to me by some aliens. You should play a game that's online against somebody. No, because then I'll die a lot. That's fine. That's not any different than normal. Oh snaps! Mm. Mm. <laughs> says says the person who can't even get his internet to work right. Oh, I got it to work right. I'm on. I'm on twice. You know what? You're, I'm gonna take you out of my family, and then you won't be able to sign on to Xbox Live. So screw you. Ooh. <laughs> oh shit! Wait, is this a snap moment? Ooh snap! Is that what I say? Oh now? snaps! Yeah. Oh okay. snap! What she said. Wait, how do we do the sound? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I feel like we are all like except for Kelsey, I feel like we're beyond. I can't believe that only four minutes have gone by since I looked at the time last. It's because I'm adjusting the time on your clock. I hacked your computer. <laughs> Actually I would probably accept that as a probable uh something yeah. at this point. A probable probability possibly? Yes. Probably. Probable. We have reached the hour. We have. We and, have. and my stomach is starting to hurt. Nobody puked. Dun, dun, dun. Yet. The night ain't over, Ross. The night ain't over. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I, think like- I've, I think I've reached the apex. I'm starting to come down because I haven't drank anything for like, I don't know, I assume 10 minutes. How much time has gone by? <laughs> I'd give you 15, actually. I'd give you 15, Justin. All right, thanks. As long as, you water, guys, as long as you guys have been carrying the show, because I've been here going, what the? What the I don't hell? know what kind of show this was. But <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's happened show. for the last ten minutes. That's okay. Okay, Justin, I think check this out. <laughs> I spilled it. I spilled my cup and I cleaned it up. That's about all I've got. Okay, so thank you all for joining us for Justin drinks. <laughs> Come um, on, Justin's supposed to do that. Oh yeah, Justin. 
close out the show. All right. Thank you for joining us for I Drink, You Drink episode two. Uh, this we hopefully will be able to do many times more at the end of months in which we have five Wednesdays. <laughs> um. <laughs> Laughing about that, but <laughs> <laughs> like it's some secret. There's five Wednesdays in some months. Uh, so there you go. <laughs> so excited! <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Please like the video. Please share it with your friends to see me be an idiot, because everybody wants to see me be an idiot, as we know. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to get upstairs because <laughs> I'm not going to get Just, just end it. <laughs> All right, goodbye. Thank you, guys. Uh, such a like.